Out here on the Mount Sicker property, here we have three small little veinlets with sulfides. This is a schistose volcanic rock. And what I wanted to do is take some strike measurements going up the mountain to various showings and uh, we'll end up at the 9-11 showing. So here we got a strike of 280 degrees west. So you can see the sulfides in here, all the veining. Mostly pyrite with some minor chalcopyrite. And you can see in here sulfides, sulfides. There's some quartz in there too, sulfide veining. And you can see more sulfide all over here. Sulfide veining down in here. So there's three distinct sulfide lenses. Continuation of that up here. So we're going to take a sample from this vein right here. So we just pulled our sample from right in here. And you can see we have quartz with pyrite, calcopyrite. Looks like chloratic schist hosting your quartz and sulfides. So we got a good sample. Down an old logging road several hundred meters above that last showing, you can see an area here, Schistose Volcanics, with very deteriorated quartz veining. J2 is clearing that out. Here's some samples we took out previously. You can see how weathered the quartz is. We are going to pull a fresh sample out, although it may still be very weathered. And if you take a look, this is the strike of the showing, and we are also at 280 degrees west. Strike this way. And as you can see, the quartz vein material is very weathered. We do have some here with sulfides. Some disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite in this. But most is weathered out. Nonetheless, we'll still take a sample here. In this vein, is at least 50 centimeters wide from what we've determined. It's quartz interwoven with patches of sulfides. And we have another piece here. The best one we found with most sulfides from right here. And these are two other samples that J2 has pulled off a bedrock over here. Puritite, fine pyrite and calcopyrite. These are actually well mineralized. So we got two good samples from this area. Presumably this is the same showing, same strike. And you can see the area here that J2 pulled these samples off of right up in there. Again, 280 degree strike. Same showing it looks like. 
The next showing is on a new road and we are below the 911 showing. 911 showing is up there. You can see the obvious change in rock type. in the road and you can see the heavy oxidation on the rocks here strike of the bedrock again 280 degrees west this is chert you have calcopyrite stringers cutting through and pyrite stringers. And again, this is a schistose rock. Very similar to what you see at those other showings. So right here in the road, you can see this. This is actually a quartz vein. And this is also right here. So you have quartz veining coming up through here too. See the quartz, you can see the sulfides. So we are going to take a sample from this quartz vein. This is approximately a meter wide. This is the first sample pulled off. You can see the width of the vein over here and you can see it's actually separated from your wall rock. Looks like it's wider down here, but this is part of the vein here. Looks like this is part of the vein. This is the first sample here. You can see quartz with calcopyrite. We're gonna hammer a bunch of chunks off this, get our sample. So we've hammered a couple places along here. For samples, you can see the mineralization. This is a schistose rock. You have stringers of pyrite, calcopyrite, oddly similar to what you see at the 911 showing. Although you have quite a bit more churdy rock. See the calcopyrite there with the pyrite. So we're gonna take a sample of the, the churdy rock. And we're gonna take a sample of your schistose rock. So this is from this vein area here with your quartz and chert. And this sample here is from down where J2 is. So we've chipped off a few samples here. Pyrite with minor calcopyrite. This is our third sample from this area. This is massive sulfides. And we just came from down there, about 100 meters below us. We are on the road at the 911 showing mineralization all along here going all the way around the corner 90 meters wide from the edge here going up you see mineralization and this is interesting because this bedrock here has a strike of approximately 320 degrees and you can see the contact here with the two distinct rock types this one is 
a chlorite schist. This is a silicified schist. And if you take the strike of this bedrock here, it is about this. And this lines up with our 280 degree west strike. And it looks like these two are colliding. But right here you have quartz up here. And this is massive sulfides. We actually dug this out and pulled out all these samples. And you can see it's just massive sulfides all throughout here. And then you can see more mineralization, which is in your green rock. And your green rock is your chloratic schist. And it may not look like it, but we actually started the video down at the bottom over there, the very first showing on the lower road. And we are five, 600 meters away from that. So you have two mineralized zones that appear to be colliding. This one is a stringer zone. And this one here contains your massive sulfide lenses and quartz, which we see up around the corner. So all we want to do now is just hammer a couple samples off here and just show a few what we're getting in the zone that we're tracing. So if you come over here, we've actually popped a drill hole into this area here, but you can see the calcopyrite stringers. You can see the pyrite stringers. Mineralization is all throughout in stringers in this chloratic schist rock. A bit of malachite staining. You can see again mineralization all throughout here. You see you have your quartz veining. And this is all throughout this rock here. So over there where J2 is, is where the contact is. And you can see still mineralized. And then what I wanted to show you is as you go on farther around, it's still mineralized. And then you come over here, you have massive sulfide mineralization up here, over here, and then your rock transitions to the same silicified rock about right here, as you see back over there, where the strike is about 320 degrees. So this is your obvious area here where you have chloratic schists below and then you have your silicified schistose rock up here. And this is where we sampled 4.43% copper over four meters. You have samples all throughout here that we've pulled off. Massive sulfides. With quartz.
So that's the 912 zone, which collides with the 911 zone. So that's the video. Thanks for watching.